we're going up this mountain. Finish the asphalt road. We are now on the dirt road. I'm kind of Welcome. Look how beautiful these houses are. Amazing. You too. Thank you very much. <laughs> you are welcome. Visiting our doors the village. We are around 49,000 people. This is Christian religion, and we are famous, you know, one for the weaving. The clothes are made by the weaving, the houses are made by the weaving, and you see all the pens which is made by the weaving. The doors means a weaver. And two are by the potteries, we make clay pots from the soil, and three are by agriculture. You see, we have a small garden in our compound, which is growing the false banana tree and different kind of vegetables. But you know, we have a big plantation outside of the compound, which is for the coffee, tobacco, potatoes, barley wheat, plants, and the apple trees. You know, we take all around Ethiopia. And four are by the traditional dances, which is completely different than the North. In North, they dance by the neck and shoulders. We call it Iskista. But when you come down to the Walaita region, they dance by the hips. You know. You get it? The children, the children we have seen doing things. Yeah, so that is the welcoming dance right. for you. And especially uh, here, around the Gamo and Dorje region, when they have the traditional dance ceremonies, they wear the leopard and cheetah's skin. They use the shield and spear. And that is spear before we use it for the hunting. Now this time we don't hunt anymore. Everything is peace. So the spear also use it for the dance as well, you know. So later you have the chance to see that ceremony as well. And here, this compound, we have seven people, father and mother with the five children. So I'm the second son from this compound. And my name is Mekon. And you see, this is the door, the typical house which is made from the bamboo and the outside cover is from the false banana leaf. We call it inse from this plant. And there is also the bamboo tree behind of the house. And inside also there is a different partitions, which is bedroom, kitchen, storage, to prepare, you know, to make our homemade local liquor, beer and wine. Even the cattle, you know, the animals also, they live together inside of the house with the people. Cow, sheep, and goat. All we live together in the same house. So in the big house, just we prepare. We make only a coffee and tea. And we have here outside another kitchen, which is to make the bread and tea. And this is the small chukunsa here. You know, the honeymoon house. When someone they get married and they stay here for three months and after three months they can they build a big house like this then this house it will be stay for the next generation so this is the honeymoon suite big house the highest maximum nine up to 12 meter why because the termite is eating the bamboo from the bottom mm. you know the ants they eat from the base and then the house it becomes shorter and shorter you know and for living also, maybe the place are not good. If the place is not comfortable to live, they can pick it and they move. They change place to place, you know, the whole house. So 63 people, they carry it, six zero. 40 people, they go surrounding from the outside and 20 people, they use a pillar from the inside. And then they take away, which is a mobile home. You know, like a car. Yeah. Three months. Yeah. But the house, it can stay for 70 up to 100 years. It can last. 
But you know, every 20, 20 years, we repair it only the roof of the false banana cover, only the inside lid. By the way, uh, this house are, also it was like this before, 12 meters. Now they determine it becomes smaller and smaller. Mm -hmm. So this was my grandfather's house. This is now 106 years old. And we use it as a kitchen. And this one is built by my father. This one is now 45 years. And when you see from the outside, which kind of wild animal it is look like? Elephant? Elephant? Sorry. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see those eyes and the trunk. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's from the inside you now it look like a basket. Before you know, in our sister time, there was elephants around the village. Now in this time, they migrated to the Jovora, Jojora, Maze Park, and down to the Omo River, through to the Kenya. Yeah. So the people still now to remember, mm -hmm. to memory, they build the elephant shape of the house. This is true. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, especially when... Saru! Hey, Saru! Hello, I'm Ali. I'm Alelo, Asham. 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 The Dorsey people live high up in the mountains, which means it's very cold. To keep the house warm, they keep their animals inside their house. They use the animal's breast to keep them warm. So half of the side of the house is for the animals and the other side is for the human's bedrooms. And in Namitito? Hello, Mitty too. 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 Hello, Yeah,
Amin. So si Anjo. Amin, amin. So si Anjo. Amin, mama. So si Anjo. Amin. Si Anjo. Amin. Si Anjo. 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 The Dorsey people are weavers. They make beautiful materials for clothes. The process starts with taking the raw cotton, taking out the seeds from the inside that looks like this. These seeds are used to plant again so the cotton grows again. The next step is the women will spin the cotton for 10 hours and that will make enough spinned cotton for weaving so that they can make one big blanket called gabi or they will use that material to make dresses. <laughs> it has been such a long time since I spinned, so I am completely lost of what I'm doing. It looks like it's easy, but it's very, very difficult and needs patience and practice. Go with Oh, now you've got it. It's coming out as a thread. It's amazing. Uh -uh. Yeah, 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 that's good. Uh -uh. <coughs> oh, you've got this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to Yay. go for another 10 hours now. Yeah. Uh, oh. Get up, Chloe. Yeah. Look at that one. I like this. Look at that one. I do this. I do this. This part amazes me how it comes out as a thread. Right. Mm. We'll leave you here now. You yeah, right back. there. I will be here 10 hours. Yeah. Weaving. <laughs> Um, no, spinning. 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 Until up to two years to ferment it. Now this is the first process to make the bread. If we look here, the color is also green. Mm -hmm. And after fermentation, it becomes to brown. And the smell is also look like a cheese. But now this is fresh. Which is like cucumber. Oh, it is. Yeah. Just like cucumber. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, from three months up to two, three, four years. Years. When we keep it longer, it is getting more, much better and better. Like the wine. Mm. So the oldest is the best. You know? After she prepares the false banana tree this way, they put it underground covered with false banana tree leaves. They also put lots of rocks to seal it from oxygen. After it is fermented, this one has about a year old. So you see that the green one, it becomes like this. So this is after one. Like a goat You see the difference here. Mm -hmm. She chops it with a knife like this so there's no bits and pieces to make the dough. The special dorze pizza. Mm -hmm. But no margarita. <laughs> she put a little bit of water to mix it so it's easier to bake. From the injury I know the nutrition, we get only the iron. But from the false banana bread, we get carbohydrate and full of vitamins. We get more nutrition from this. With the false banana leaves. And after that, she put it in the oven, which is like for five, six minutes. Again, she returned the size three times. And then we eat with, with the cheese and with the honey. So this is, you know, instead. Of course I had to try it to see the hard work they put in every day to make kocho. <laughs> so in Dorsey they don't use injera because it's a bit expensive because it doesn't grow here. So they use it on special occasions. What they eat is kocho that is made out of the false banana tree. This tree that you see here, it doesn't uh, make bananas. We call it inset. So this part, they use 
to make the kocho. The seeds, they make it, uh, they use it to make uh, bulla. And the leaf, they use it for the animals to use for the top of the, to make the house. They also use it for cooking. Yeah. So, hello. Hello. Oh, Jit, what? When is Ah, so, and this is the kocho. Yeah, so she just made this. Yeah, so we're gonna eat this now. <laughs> So uh, this is the result. We're eating it with honey and spices. So if it is super spicy, then mm -hmm. eat this one with honey. Yeah. <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny bit, the spices yeah, and the heat. Yeah, the honey is beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Come here. Chile, ginger, pepper, salt, and garlic. Yo 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 yo. No, no, then we call him gum. Okay. Yo, 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 no, yo. No, no, very loud, very, very loud. Stand up, one. Yo, 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 yo. 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 No, one more. Yo, 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 yo. Gum. Again. Yo, 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 yo. No, no, this is five. Yo! No, again. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! Yo! Yo, yo! No. <laughs> Listen. I can't tell. No. Yo, 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 yo! No. Yo! Yeah, yo, yo! Six yeah. eight. Yo, 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 yo! Yo! Yo, 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 yo! Yo! yo. So the Dorsey people are weavers. Weavers, like they weave uh, clothes, like materials like this that I'm wearing right now. They also weave their houses. So they have technique, they're very famous for this. So I'm just gonna turn around the camera. I'm just going to turn the camera and show you how they do it and the materials that they do and also their homes. So he's weaving a textile that we wear. I have lots of dresses from this. You can see here, there are two of them. So the man over here, he's weaving a textile. And the man inside, he's weaving uh, the house. So like this. As you can see, they made the whole house with it, and now he's making the floor. Oh! They use natural products to tint the colors, like this. So they use flowers, leaves, and all of these products to tint this beautiful materials that they weave. So it's very good. I like colors. So. And this ones that he represented, he told us, like uh, the Dorsey people, this is like their representation of color. They use the 
black because we are black. So that's the representation of that. The red is for the blood and the yellow is for the future, like the bright future. These prints are called Zunguza. This is a greeting.
tu nathin ke dur se
Ambassa, 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 It was wonderful to spend the day with the amazing people of Dorze and learn their way of life. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Bye! Bye <laughs>